Hey, Cyprin here. So, some people have asked me the question uh, about frequency response and how do you calculate it in on scale? So, uh, if if you you are using your on, on scale, you know probably that the the main type of analysis which is done is time response. So you apply an input, you get the time response of that. And how do you get the frequency response? So that that's what I try to explain to you in this video. Uh, and this is really simple, in fact. Uh, so I created this kind of model. So what is this? This is a piezo composite uh, array. So I have here 25 pillars, which are into piezo material, and which are polarized into the y direction. So they deformed under uh, voltage. And uh, in on scale, you can uh, directly put some electrodes on both. You just say, oh, what kind of voltage you apply to that, and then it it just uh, deform and calculate the mechanical uh, displacement, velocity, uh, and all that. So it can calculate that very easily. It's it's totally coupled. Um, and the blue material around is some epoxy material, which is here to fill the void in between those pillars. So this kind of model is used heavily into the medical industry in order to to calculate, um, you know, basically the the, the acoustic wave sent into uh, sent some by some medical probe, for example. This kind of stuff is generated by uh, things like that. So you could imagine that each of those pillars are firing an acoustic wave um, separately, and then you would uh, analyze the signal you obtain with some kind of uh, scripting and you would get some imaging of your result. So now let, let's come back to this uh, the subject of this video and how do you get the, the frequency response. So this is the results that I calculated. It's actually pretty fast to calculate something like that. It's only take like 10 minutes I think. So uh, it's uh, I can animate it just to show you because it's really cool. <laughs> I like uh, the way you, you visualize the displacement of, of this full array of piezo composites. Um, now let's just configure a second viewport. And, and here they are um, I can display the charge or the voltage at certain position of my model. So I set up a position, I think it's in the middle here. Um, and this is a displacement at this position along time. So this is how it looks uh, along the time, how it dis it uh, it changes in into uh, it changes in function of my uh, input uh, loading. Now I want to know what is the frequency response. What is the main frequency at which this model will resonate? That that's the main question, right? And the way to do that is very easy. You just have to click here on your charge. And you see that home, in the home model, you have a button called FFT record. So if you click on it, looks like nothing happened. But if you go down here, you have this, which appears here, the frequency history, and you have the lower charge. Now, a second trap is that if you just double click on here, well, you see basically nothing. So it looks a bit strange. And the reason is because you have the two curves in one window, so the scale is not the same, so one of them is just hidden. So you have basically to reset this viewport, so you have nothing on it. And if you double click now on this, you're able to see the frequency response, which correspond to this time signal. So I just make this bigger, and you see that here I have my uh, frequency response pick at this frequency here so it's uh, and I get the value of this frequency and and this displacement here is actually uh, accurate uh, because uh, I just calculated uh, according to a time response so it is it is the real world type of signal that you would get if you you were to to have this kind of design to to calculate okay so now you have the amplitude and if you want your phase you have also the calculation of the phase here, and again you need to reset the viewports uh, and, and you get the phase uh, type of, um, 
of f of t. So the, the, the way to calculate um, this frequency response from the displacement is called FFT. So FFT comes for uh, fast Fourier transformation. And that's some kind of a mathematical function which basically uh, can transform some time uh, time curve into a frequency domain type of distribution. And if uh, I have the link below this video, I think, uh, to to Wikipedia or something, explaining to you what is the FFT if you don't know about it. Um, okay, and that, that's all I think for this video. So I hope that you enjoyed it and it was useful for you. Thank you for watching.